So in case you guys are not 100% in the know about this, which it's okay if you're not, because you probably won't be, because this is the same day that they had their big press release, Apple did, and they announced the new MacBook Air, Mac Mini, and iPad Pro. So all that stuff that got announced and hyped up obviously overshadowed the small little update that was just kind of added to their website that very few people actually noticed. And that was starting in late November, they were going to start shipping the MacBook Pro with Radeon Pro Vega graphics, the brand new Radeon Pro Vega 16 and Radeon Pro Vega 20 graphics processors designed for laptop computers, which I thought was really awesome because if I'm going to be getting a new MacBook Pro, which of course that's what we're trying to do here, um, I would need a lot of graphics power, and so that's a bit more graphics power at least for a laptop. It's one of the fastest GPUs that you'll be able to get in a laptop this thin, uh, this profile. Um, apparently 60% faster than the current GPUs in the MacBook Pro. But we knew this was coming, but we didn't know the pricing. Um, but Apple has just today, and I mean today because I looked this morning and it was not there yet. But I checked this afternoon and today they have started shipping the new MacBook Pro with the Vega processor. So we can see what that price is going to be. We're going to buy it. Um, of course, not on the 13 inches. 13-inch um, still does not have dedicated graphics, which is unfortunate. And the other interesting thing is the the standard uh, baseline um, MacBook Pro 15-inch um, can only be upgraded to the Radeon 560X. Cannot be re-upgraded all the way to the Radeon Pro, which is kind of weird. You're going to have to fork up the extra money for the 2.6 gigahertz upgraded Intel Core i7 and the 512 gigabytes of storage um, in order to get up to these new graphics card options. Well, you can see the pricing here now. It's going to be 250 extra dollars for the Radeon Pro Vega 16 and 350 extra dollars for the Radeon Pro Vega 20. So compared to the baseline price of $2,799, which is crazy, for at least this baseline computer here, um, we can go up to a Vega 16 for $3,050 and a Vega 20 for $3,149. And I have to say this isn't exactly the worst value ever because these are going to be crazy powerful graphics processors compared to what's already in these machines. Obviously nowhere near desktop grade, but it's better than what's already in these machines. 350 extra dollars, that's cheaper than upgrading your SSD. It's cheaper than upgrading your RAM. Um, and it's just a little bit more expensive um, than upgrading your processor. So I think comparatively speaking to other um, Apple upgrade prices they charge on these machines, I think 350 and 250 is not bad for these new graphics cards. It's just unfortunate that you're forced to pay for an upgraded processor and an upgraded storage, the initial storage upgrade, to actually get to um, the Radeon Pro Vega options. But just the fact that they're there now I find really neat. And when I do get a new computer for video editing on the channel, which is going to be awesome, by the way, then, of course, I will get the Radeon Pro Vegas because... I want this to last a while, and Macs are not exactly known for their graphics, but I think this is a step in the right direction. So what do you guys think about the Radeon Pro Vega GPUs in the MacBook? Do you think they're valued okay, at least comparatively speaking, to other Apple products, knowing that that's going to be more expensive than what you find on another device? Are you excited to see how these perform? Because I know I definitely want to see those benchmarks, see exactly how they perform. And is this something you'd consider getting on your MacBook Pro? And be sure to like the video if you do want to see more content um, like this or if you just want to make me happy. And, you know, you can subscribe and enable notifications. So if I ever do get my hands on one of these new uh, MacBook Pros with Vega processors, which I hope to at some point. Sorry, Vega graphics, graphics processor, different things. If I ever get a hold of one of these, you're going to want to see that. I'm excited to do that. So just let me know, or don't let me know, just su subscribe. You know, I'm starting to confuse myself here with the whole monologue ending to a video. When did that become the stereotypical thing to do on YouTube? If any of you are still watching at this point, by the way, you're champs, but everyone on YouTube ends their video with a monologue about liking videos and subscribing, which no one actually listens to anytime anyway. So I don't even know why I'm still talking at this point. Bye-bye.